Have you ever thought of being a tent maker? A couple was on the brink of divorce and had scheduled a court date. While the wife was at the dentist, she heard Christian music in the background and asked the dentist about the lyrics. The dentist explained the concepts of sin and salvation. Intrigued, the wife wanted to know more. The dentist gave her a Bible and arranged for a pastor to visit her. During the first Bible study, she asked about the Bible's teachings on divorce. When the pastor explained, she was furious, exclaiming, That's impossible today. The pastor encouraged her to continue studying the Bible and praying for her husband in their marriage. As she prayed, she experienced a change of heart. The night before the court hearing, she told her husband she no longer wanted a divorce. When he asked why, she said she had accepted Jesus as her savior and divorce went against his will. The next day in court, she informed the judge she no longer wanted a divorce. Still surprised, her husband said to the judge, me neither. Curious about her newfound faith, he began reading the Bible she gave him. He soon requested Bible studies and started attending church. His life changed as well and the couple now follows Jesus. This marriage was saved thanks to a tent maker dentist who shared the gospel through her work. Professionals like dentists, engineers, teachers, nurses, and others are considered tent makers when they support themselves while dedicating their professional lives to guiding others to Christ, like the Apostle Paul. Some tent makers, however, volunteer to join a strategic initiative by the Adventist Church to reach challenging places, like the 1040 window where church regular workers struggle to obtain visas and work permits. Your regular and unassigned offerings also help equip and support these dedicated tent makers and other regular missionaries worldwide. In truth, all Christians should have a tent maker spirit, volunteering to become soul winners while doing whatever the Lord calls them to do. As we accept God's call and return the tithe and promise, May we put our desires last and God first.